get down. Fighting out of Quincy, Jeff Sullivan Sully. Fighting out of Weymouth, Mike Brooks Brooksy. And fighting out of the left corner, wearing a pink and blue Space Force t-shirt, <laughs> Nick Stevens from Braintree. It is time. For the South Shore Smackdown, this is brought to you by Advanced Green Insulation, the premier insulation, fireproofing, and fireplace company in Massachusetts. Book your free consultation today at advancedgreeninsulation.com. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Indeed. That was yes. anticlimactic. <laughs> okay, ready? Let's get it on. Wait a minute. So remember, yell out your ta town name. I'll try my best to come up with a, uh, a first. If it's wrong, it's wrong. We just move forward. First question, gentlemen. This South Shore... Quincy. <laughs> what is Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> Amazingly correct. Thank you very much. That's, that is the answer to every question. All right, we have a winner. What is John what Adams? Is, what is the dunks by the Bergen Parkway? <laughs> that is the answer. What is the dunks uh, by 93? <laughs> the, uh, wow. the original dunks. We're super size it. All right. Here we go. This South Shore town... Fried rice. ...was originally called... <laughs> Massage <laughs> Maddox. Famous. Quincy. Hypodermic needle. <laughs> Monster Tweak Good Hummock. That is Quincy. <laughs> the South Shore Tower. problem. It was originally called Matakeset, which means place. Weymouth. Braintree. Quincy. Hold it. I heard <laughs> Weymouth first. Braintree. Is that your answer? Yes. You're incorrect. Someone can steal. Quincy. <laughs> it's Quincy. Incorrect. Oh. Nick, I'll finish the question. Oh. I'll finish the question. Originally called Matakeset, which means place of many fish. What is the town? my god, he's a moron. Wait, hold on. He answered Braintree and yep. you answered... It's not a... Quincy. Eh. Oh, uh... Braintree. Wait a minute. No, Quincy. I didn't say Braintree. Braintree. Wait a minute. Just drop it. You're... I said Braintree because that's You're my town. Right. I have to use that as my buzzer. You're all wrong. What is it? Duxbury. Medication oh. Oh, is wait Duxbury. Wait oh, wait. Oh, we're going... Uh, uh, so Ducks so from the South Shore. Seriously. So the answers can be one of uh, a town other than oh, the three. Okay. Of course, it's the okay. South Shore, oh. gentlemen. Ducks from the South gentlemen. Shore is you're a rock star. Little known fact: another Indian translation. You like my new vineyard vine, short. <laughs> Little known fact: another Indian translation, gentlemen, of Matakeset is place of unwarranted cougar bikinis. <laughs> Maddie, yeah, if, I, if I knew it was Duxbury, I would have had my nanny answer that question for me. Question number two. <laughs> and by the way, in Weymouth, we call that the land that thinks a rotary is a roundabout. Get over yourselves. <laughs> Stop being so adorable, Duxbury. Uh, Duxbury. I'll be taking two weeks in a beach shack on Duxbury in August. Little known fact, Jerry, did you know that the cold water fountain at the high school in Duxbury? Pinot Grigio. <laughs> True. And they're separated oh, by... Oh, speaking of little known fact, you know, Go for it! Fact that <laughs> Did you hear the comic in Quincy, as you enter Marina Bay, is actually the founding uh, where Massachusetts got its name. Right there in beautiful 26.9 miles of coastline. Beautiful downtown Quincy. Totally made up with a Hit him, Stiz. Ones. Great story. Thank uh, you. <laughs> don't your rivers flow with soy sauce? All right, gentlemen, I will remind you. <laughs> Alex Trebek rules, please. Buzzers only. Trebek. We'll never get through this if you guys keep blabbing. Question number two. The American president, Calvin Coolidge, had a summer home in what South Shore hamlet? <clears throat> Quincy. Quincy. Hall. Boom, we have someone on the board. Oh! Thank you very much. Great Hall story. Hall Jeff Sullivan. Uh, <laughs> little known fact, he, he, Hall? he had the place in Hall, but he kept his slaves in Weymouth. Wow. Many people don't know. Uh, okay. Um, and, and he was the one who dubbed a uh, hull the world's longest ashtray. That is correct. That is but, actually correct. But Nantasca correct. Beach is now practically syringe-free. Maddie, uh, Sully's I, in the I, lead. I should have known that. I learned that when I saw that movie, 12 Years in Weymouth. Oh, yeah, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you know how got actually got its name from Weymouth? <laughs> is that correct? No one cares. <laughs> All right, story number three. Excuse me, question number three. Walk -walk. Walk -walk. Gentlemen, we are, you are listening to our uh, South Shore Smackdown, everybody. Jeff Sullivan from Quincy is in the lead. For Quincy is everything with one. Mike Brooks, Brooksy from Weymouth has no points. And uh, Nick Stevens, no points. Boob sweat is great. <laughs> representing Braintree. <laughs> question number three. If you were skulking around Gray's Beach in Kingston with a metal detector, you just might get a hit and pull out an Oscar. Because this Academy Award winning actor Weymouth. is from there. Weymouth. Steve Carell. Incorrect. Quincy, go ahead. Ruth Gordon. Incorrect, Nick. This uh, Academy Award winning actor is from there. Can you can you take a lifeline like that? No. Yeah, what the, what can, can I steal? Oh, yeah. Uh, Braintree. Go ahead. Uh, Chris Cooper. 
That is correct. Nick is on the board, wow. thanks to Georgie Kim. Right, your lifeline is gone. I use my lifeline. Uh, Chris Cooper, of course, won the Academy Award. A little-known fact, speaking of South Shore and acting, Nick's parents ran a dinner theater in Brockton, and it won the award for best parking lot to pick up a tranny in Brockton from 82 to 89. Wow. It's, it's great. You should have seen great fact. his funny thing happened on the way before him. You know that funny thing? Yeah. He had sex with a man. Oh, my God. Great story. All right, so Nick is on the board with one. Braintree's on the board. Sully from Quincy is on the board with one, and Mike Brooks, Brooksy, is trailing with zero. Here we hey, go. Hey, by the way, George, you're my lifeline. Oh, ah, well. Yeah, what the hell? He, well, <laughs> I work in Quincy. he's, yeah. Right. He spent five minutes in Quincy. It was like, oh, I'd rather be a Here we go. I think that was a movie. Hey, Matt, did you see that he story earlier? He sold that dime bag, and he was right back to Braintree. <laughs> you see that story earlier today? Kawhi Leonard was traded from San Antonio to Toronto. No. He said there was one place he'd rather less play than Toronto. Where's that? Nick? Weymouth. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, question number four. Mmm. <clears throat> Feel like a donut, gentlemen? Then head to this South Shore. Quincy. What? Okay. That would be Dunkin' Donuts for 500. That's incorrect. Oh. Oh. Because, uh, that's not the question. So, Quincy, you're eliminated. Mmm. Feel like a donut? Then head to this South Shore hotspot where Dunkin' Donuts was founded. Braintree. Go ahead. Quincy. Correct. Nick's on the board with two. You should have just waited. Oh. Should have just waited. You, you jumped the gun. Should have just waited. Nick's on the board with two. Due to sensitivity, I'll make no jump based off what I just said. That's All right, Brooksy. Uh, still zero, though. You would have got that one right. That's part of the strategy, though. You never know what the question's going to be. I'm still thinking thrown right. off by this Duxbury enter in out contest. Yeah, the Duxbury thing. How is Duxbury not sell short? It's not Get the sell short. Is Duxbury sell short, Jerry? Great it is. It's, Thank you. It's the Irish That's Riviera. Great. Exactly. Marshfield. The South Shore is like six, ta six, eight towns. Oh, please. Weymouth and Quincy. That's no. the South Shore. And, <laughs> well, it's not the Cape, so what What else would it be? Plymouth, South Shore, Robert Duxbury, Robert. South Shore, Marshfield, South Shore, Hull, and uh, everywhere. Matty, right, here we go. Matty, Matty did you see that news story earlier today? No. What, what was they it? They finally then? interviewed the Thai cave divers. Oh, what? yeah? Yeah, they talked to them about the entire ordeal. They said the yeah. conditions in the cave were awful. But not as bad as where? Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, number five. In the War of 1812, two youngins were able to stop the advancement of the British Navy upon this situate shore. Upon the situate shore. I'm sorry. Let me start again. In the War of 1812, two youngins were able to stop the advancement of British Navy upon the situate shore by doing Quincy. this. Playing the drums. Playing the drums is correct. Thank wow. you. Wow. We have a tie. Thanks, Steve. We have a challenge. We have a tie. Oh, playing the challenge. challenge. Whoa. <laughs> Play, playing the drums is correct. Uh, little known fact, recently history almost repeated itself. As a drummer and his girlfriend, also on the Situate be Beach and also at night, were not able to stop the advancement of crabs. <laughs> <laughs> People still have crabs? In Quincy, they do. In Situate. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, Matty, did you see that news story earlier? No, Nick, what was it? <laughs> Great story. We have a tie. Two, two all. Uh, uh, Brooks, you're going to need to get these last two here. All right, here we go. Question number six. John Adams can claim to be from both these two... Weymouth. Weymouth. Ah. Weymouth. I heard Weymouth first. Braintree and Quincy. You are on the board, Brooks. Hey! hey. Wow. Hey, is that Brooks? Brooks, you got one or two now? He's got Just one. Two, two. So it's two, two, one. Yeah. And, and actually, Weymouth's only second most celebrated citizen after George Young... The guy that's from right. the movie yeah, Blow, played right. by oh, Johnny baby. Depp. So we've got a U.S. president, but more importantly, we've got the guy who invented the cocaine trade. That's oh, right, wow. Jerry, of Weymouth is the only city in Massachusetts uh, that does what that movie title is. It's at Main Expo wow. is what it does. Little known fact, he used to have to travel through Quincy to get the coke to the pony room. He can... Uh, we've got a minute left, gentlemen. All right, he can claim to be from both South Shore cities because he was born on a farm in then Braintree, now Quincy. A little known fact, Nick. Mm -hmm. While John Adams can claim to be from Braintree and Quincy, no person in history has tried to claim they're from Weymouth. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, did you see the story earlier? No, what was it? And finally, finally, this is for the win, guys. It's 2-2-1. Two, two, Brooksy, if you tie, we'll have a tie break on the other side. The year is 1979. And in his annual summer family visit to Paragon Park on Nantasket Beach... A young Matty Blake is finally tall enough to lose his coaster virginity on the famous wooden roller coaster at Paragon Park named Wait what? <laughs> roller coaster was called the... the I Blake I Virgin Buster. <laughs> Sorry, Raymond, that is incorrect. Oh, Braintree. Go ahead. What, uh... 
It was white and had lots of ups and downs. Yes, that's uh, correct. Called the Stevens Family. <laughs> it's Quincy. Correct. Yes. Hi, Mom. <laughs> was it the Cyclone? It was the Thunderbolt. Correct. It's incorrect. Uh, the Nut Runner. I will give you a multiple choice. The and we're going go to go, go in order of how you called it. All right? So you were first. It was either the Rocket... The beach banger or the giant coaster? The rocket, the beach banger, or the giant coaster? It's false, so I'm going to go with the giant coaster. I'm going to say this. We're going to name this giant coaster. Let's call it the giant coaster. We have a three-way tie. Yeah. Oh! We'll have a tiebreaker on the other side. Here we go. Um, it is tie game right now, two, two to two. Nick representing Braintree. What's a tie game like? Mahjong. Brooksy representing Weymouth, and Quincy representing. It's a uh, restaurant. Sully, it's a restaurant on Hancock Street in North Quincy. <laughs> Pie gal. What? So here we go with Maybe the tie, game. <clears throat> tie breaker Never. for the win. Whoever gets this right is going to win. Okay. This tie breaker is brought to you by Stone and Ford. Now hiring a full-time certified automotive technician, $7,500 signing bonus. Visit stoneandford.com for details or stop by to apply. Maddie, text line checking in, 617. Yeah. Is Mike Brooks hot? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I, I concur. He's got the Jordan Spieth Under Armour on. He's looking good. He looks like the Kool-Aid man. Kind of moves going on. And I even suck in on the radio. Yeah, you do. What? If he's, <laughs> how do you think Stiz got this job? If All right. Are you guys ready for the tiebreaker? Nick, are we ready? Oh, let's do it. Where's our dramatic uh, music? Ask your producer. Oh, Stiz, where's our dramatic tie-breaking music? You North Shore people. Uh, now, are there North Shore versions of, of your, you know, Facebook pages? Like, is there a... Yes, Canada is everything. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Perfect. Guys, we're our tie over here. Sully's oh, on fire. Bump, bump. Here we go. Sully from Quincy has two. Brooksy from Weymouth has two, and Nick from Braintree has two. For the win, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. This town's school district includes 13 schools, which puts it way above the state average. The school system serves around 8,000 students in Quincy. Eight... Go ahead, Quincy. I know the answer, but I don't feel like ever leaving Quincy again, so I'm going to say Rehoboth. Quincy, you are eliminated. <laughs> Serves 8,000 students in eight elementary schools, two middle schools, two high schools, and one preschool, making it one of the largest school systems in Massachusetts. Weymouth. Go ahead, Weymouth. What is Quincy, Massachusetts? You are also eliminated. Oh, sabotage. Oh, you guys Nick sabotage. Stevens. I just seen that. Yes. One of the largest school districts in Massachusetts is right on the South Shore. Come on, Nick. Braintree. Name the town. Go ahead, Braintree. Hang him. That is also incorrect. Nobody, wow. wants, nobody wants to pick up that. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, you have to uneliminate all of us. Or I can give a hint. Don't Weymouth. Wrestle now? Rockland. All right. <laughs> First one who gets it right, that's incorrect. I have another question. Let's go to another tiebreaker. Maybe okay. you guys will know this one. If you don't know this one, we'll go back to another one. The answer, by the way, uh, is Plymouth. What? Plymouth? Now no. that's... We, you get a cell show on that. You need a cell show on that. It's the Cape, dude. No, it's not. That's Weymouth's Cape Cod. Please. They can't afford the real Cape. <laughs> that was at Disneyland growing up. Curly Seriously. Pond. Plymouth is cell show. By the way, shout out to the Birches. All right, here we go. Oh, By the way, I'm getting all these from weird and funny facts about the South Shore, so Plymouth is very much South Shore. Yeah, but that's... This... A guy Ooh. from Weymouth writes that. Don't this... trust that site. This... Well, this legendary greasy spoon named after a husband and wife who were built as a couple of good eggs, ruled the breakfast scene in Marshfield down in the Brant Rock Quincy. for a year. Yep. What is Victory Point Marina Bay? Incorrect. <laughs> Rule? Now you're just name-checking bars you work at. Yeah, I probably tend to. I'll be slinging the six. Husband and wife <laughs> in this legendary joint who were built as a couple of good eggs ruled the breakfast scene in Marshfield down in the Brant Rock Hood for years, featuring cartoons of the owners all over the wall. This Massachusetts landmark claims such famous regulars as Aerosmith, Members of the Celtics ranging from Larry Bird to Kevin McCann. Braintree. Yes. Uh, Strawberry Hill or Strawberry Farm? That's incorrect. Damn it. Anyone 
Anyone else? Weymouth. Yes. Lifeline. Matt. Oh, you can oh. use me. Oh. 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 This is Weymouth War Theory in here. Wow. That's pretty good. All right, I'll give you a hint. Fighting with no rules, that's very Weymouth. Brooksy, I'm going to give you it's that. A, it's no, a husband. Give you $2 to it's go a husband. Take a home. <laughs> it's a husband and wife name. The husband's name is also what you could call someone who writes books. And the wife's name is an androgynous character from Saturday Night Live. Androgynous. Someone who writes books, you could call him. The man's name and the wife's name is an androgynous character author from Santa Pat. What? Author and Pat. Who you're said not that? supposed to say I it. I didn't say it. I said it. Oh, yeah. I didn't say but it. you're eliminated. I said it. I'm author and Pat. And we got a winner. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh. Classic. Win it. Win it. Now, the only way Weymouth can win. <laughs> now, here's something interesting. Brooksy, you start. It was two, two to zero, and you came from behind. Famous for it. In Weymouth. 28-3, baby. And one so. came 3-2-2. Three, two to two. What an incredible selfie smackdown, Nick. Uh, Braintree losing by one. Quincy losing by one. Jeff Sully Sullivan from Quincy. Uh, any parting words in your in your humiliating defeat? Uh, yeah, no. I, I, I want to hand it to Brooksy. Uh, I, I really enjoyed uh, this. I enjoyed helping you with Arthur and Pat. And um, <laughs> that's all. I'm just looking forward to doing the weather. All right. <laughs> Weymouth basically well, only subsists well, off Quincy's handouts. Let's be honest. Uh, Nick from Braintree, yep. any uh, parting words in your defeat? Uh, um, just, I woke up today, and I was just glad I wasn't from Holbrook. And finally, our winner of the South Shore SmackDown, Mike Brooksy Brooks from Weymouth. Now, Mike, you have to face off against the winner of our North Shore SmackDown, which we will have in the coming weeks, coming days. Are you ready for the challenge? I'm sure she drives a truck. Oh, wow. Wow. City. <laughs> wow. And uh, any parting words of your victory lap here? God bless Weymouth. Thanks everybody that came together for the tragedy that happened over the weekend. Absolutely. And uh, once August again, 9th. Yep. August 9th, 7.30 p.m. at the Weymouth Elks. Tickets will be on sale within coming days. We'll post a link. Maddie and I will be performing. Ah, oh, haven't the people of Weymouth suffered enough? <laughs> We we'll have some great comedians on there. Greg Murphy, Jerry Thornton, looking to round out the bill pretty Love soon. It. It's going to be an Lenny awesome said he fundraiser. Could potentially make it. Hopefully, Lenny's going to be there, Maddie, which will mm -hmm. be awesome. So and it's going to be a giant great dong. Uh, and yes, and we'll and then also <laughs> shout out to my friends from Weymouth, uh, Babs, Chad, Andy, Rocket Science, the greatest band of all time from Weymouth, Mass. Uh, Weymouth wins. Weymouth wow. wins. Weymouth, 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 Weymouth is everything. Weymouth is the champion. And uh, before we go, how about a quick check of the weather one more time? Sponsored this hour, brought to you by Weatherman Jeff, a.k.a. the old South Shore runner-up. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is Weatherman Jeff, checking in live <laughs> from WAF here in beautiful Brighton. This is sponsored by Renai. Renai tankless water heaters. Meet the all-new Renai Sensei tankless water heater, offering an endless supply of hot water. <laughs> Significant energy savings in a Wi-Fi harness. Visit tanklessismore.com to see why tankless is more. Ah. Wow, aggressive. Yeah, cool and clear, 54 I mean, tonight, tomorrow, my man. Oh, yeah, tomorrow's going to be 83 and absolutely stunning. And a giant dong. I, uh, sorry, Weymouth, I forgot John Town. Shout out John Town. DJ Nebula's from Weymouth, too. All right. All Don't right. know who these that are is, all but fake like These are all fake people. <laughs> Two presidents. Balls to the chest, not that big a deal after all. Eleven has a wiener. Uh, yeah, no shh, blank oh, word. Oh, 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 is that a Nick oh. show? B. Baloney's one of the greatest things on planet Earth. And this state should be called Pussachusage.